Hey guys, it's Wednesday morning and I got a new phone. I'm wondering if that looks any better than what um, the video quality from before. It should. It should be way better. And I'm never going to get tired of this view early in the morning. Never, ever. You'll have to let me know. Lola! Do you want a cupcake? Do you want a cupcake? Yes? You want a cupcake? Oh, super bad. Give her the cupcake, Savannah. It's a doggy cupcake for anybody who's concerned. It's all dog safe ingredients. Oh, she she didn't like it. It's probably just because it's frozen. Is that good? You want a cupcake? <laughs> well, here I am at storage. <clears throat> this is the stuff that's left. And I'm here trying to sell it. Really cheap. Love this piece. I love this piece too. My soon-to-be daughter-in-law wants that. And then there's that gorgeous piece. And that one. Well, we'll see how it goes. Rest of it's going to Google. Hey guys, it's Sunday morning and I wanted to show you how cool these upper windows are. If we didn't have those, <clears throat> I mean, look how much of the view we'd be missing. And, I, you know, Honey and I were talking about it last night, how we bought this house sight unseen. We, all we had seen was inside the windows, a little, because the house was so elevated that we couldn't really see in the, the living room. We could see in this door, but we couldn't see in the bedroom windows very well. But look at the difference. So this would be the view. Or that's the view. <clears throat> and the same thing over the kitchen window. So it's early Sunday morning. So as the sun was coming up, you, you know, before it was black. And then all you could see is this blue just... And then you could start seeing the, the silhouette of the trees. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Out here, <clears throat> it's different at night. Excuse me. <clears throat> you know, you see the silhouette. Um, out this window, we're starting to see the natural color because the light is shining right on. Well, it's hard to see. You can see me. Hi. <laughs> anyway. I just, I, not just I. I mean, honey last night was like, he looked at me. He's like, I love living here. I love love living here and I have a surprise to show you guys when it gets a little bit lighter so I got one doggy watching TV with me I got another dog sleeping <laughs> and I love watching main cabin masters good Sunday morning guys I told you I had something to show you when it got brighter out <clears throat> And see how the mulch looks. I'm glad everybody seemed to like it. Bye, honey. She just got a coat on because it's cold out here. But I want to show you the surprise. Ta da! It's going to be small, but it's going to be a pond. And. There's all the dirt over there. But the reason why this is as big as it can be is because this is a rock here. And this flat area that's kind of sloping, that is a rock. So it was kind of a miracle he was able to make it this big. 
I was hoping to come out another three feet, but this rock impeded everything. <clears throat> and <laughs> and he said <clears throat> that it's a good thing we didn't do the other, the other waterfall, because it wouldn't have worked because of where this rock is and this rock is. So what they had to do was they had to dig the vault right here and these two rocks come back further. They would have impeded that. We wouldn't have even been able to do a waterfall up here. So, <clears throat> and the reason why he didn't dig a little further that way is because that's where the waterfall that comes into the pond is gonna be. So between the tree with the blue X and that post. Um, and I'm going to have to go get that X off because that's going to make me crazy. <clears throat> um, there'll be a two-tier waterfall coming into the pond. Um, the skimmer's going to be over there. And then this <clears throat> will be like a shelf, like a planting shelf, this big rock. So, And it is going to be deep enough for koi. Um, it only has to be two feet. From what I understand, um, what he said for uh, goldfish, so there'll definitely be goldfish in here. But for koi, it has to be three feet, and they're going to make a fish cave so that in the winter they can go in the cave and do their hibernating thing. Um, <clears throat> but we won't be able to put fish in it this year. So in the spring, it'll be exciting. We'll be able to um, incorporate the fish so just really excited and happy but a little disappointed if you know what I mean <clears throat> but we can only do what the mountain will let us do so here's Shiva in her coat we're gonna do a little ranging of the patio or the deck because <clears throat> the kids are coming and <laughs> super excited we ordered cornhole cornhole is gonna go right here so that when they throw it it lands up against the house instead of sliding off into the water feature and somebody has to go get wet. So some of these plants are going to definitely die off and they're probably going to die off real soon because last night was in the 20s and we're going to get snow on Thursday. So you're not going to see the pond uh, completed on this vlog because they today's Sunday and they won't be back until Wednesday so that'll be in next week but yeah it'll be completed it's gonna look it's gonna look like this supernatural <laughs> supernatural get it <laughs> um, but yeah I got work to do out here and it's cold I may wait till a little bit later I haven't had my tea yet <clears throat> And we were worried about the dogs falling into the hole. So honey tried to block off. It's blocked off over on the other side of the, they can't go on that side, but they're just coming up through here. And But now they know there's a hole there. So I think it'll be all right. Shiva was very excited to put her coat on, but I think she's cold now. So in we go. I'm gonna brush my teeth and have some tea. Here's a view of a cross, Shiva across the street so you can see all the color going on over there and yeah this guy is going to build a garage over here on this very sloping property but look how pretty it is over there. Anyway, oh, so that's our property. So I'm literally just standing across the street. All right, got a little bit done out here. I just kind of made this little sit sitting area. Those pillows we had from the other house. I'm not digging them a whole lot here, but I'm gonna leave them out this year. Picked up the rug on Amazon. It's like a plastic woven, um, but I think it ties in the seating area pretty good. We just need to get rid of the blue panels. 
And then the, this is a gas fire pit right here. A vol hot tub. And so here's the sitting area. And from over here to over here is the pond. When we just had the neighbor come over. He's got a great big machine. And he took a look at it. He said, nope, my machine ain't going to go through that rock either. It's like, but a jackhammer will. So, honey was like, I can jackhammer it. We'll see. But he did put this up to keep the dogs out. Cause Shiva was down in the bottom of it yesterday and jumped a vertical leap all the way out. So I figure since it's going to snow this week and it's going to get really cold, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be cold enough. It'll be, it's going to be in the twenties. I don't know if it's cold enough that it's really going to freeze any of this water. Um, what'll start happening is we'll get little ice formations in areas where the water's not constantly moving. And then those will, as it gets colder and colder and colder up here, um, those ice formations will grow. And that's what's gonna suck up the water. So um, we're still gonna need to keep this filled. Um, but someone asked, will we have to shut it down? No, it will run year round. The one in the front will also, and the pond. The pond is actually gonna have a heater. Um, talked to him yesterday. He's like, yeah, you're definitely going to need a heater. It comes with an aerator, which is going to keep a hole in the ice so that when we do put fish in it, which won't be till next year, but when we do put fish in it, they just need that, um, that hole not to come up and breathe out of, but to, um, let out the gases from all the waste. So anyway, I'm just going to wait here for a little bit. And I did fill this completely. It ran for over an hour, about an hour and 15 minutes yesterday. Uh, this is a 10, there's a 10,000 gallon reservoir underneath here. For those of you who um, have been watching for a while, you may remember they dug this giant hole. It was really hard because that rock formation um, was already here and it does go underground so anyway it's a beautiful day but um we're gonna have some weather this week so just trying to get ready hey guys i'm in the front and it's hard to believe we're fixing to get snow it was 29 degrees this morning and the butterflies are out well, at least this one butterfly, because he's the only one I see. But look how bright and pretty he is. We do get a lot of butterflies and a lot of bees up here. But they just come and get the nectar from the flowers and then they don't bother us. Anyway, I just thought he was really cool. Look at him, it's like he's super excited. Hey guys, I finally got decorated for fall and I've kind of shown the coffee bar, but not in depth. Um, so this is how it looks and I love it. It's not gonna stay this way too long because probably in about four weeks it's about the 10th of October now probably for about four weeks and then it's time for Christmas because I decorate early so I want to show you this right here this was sent to me by my friend Paula who she's been watching for a long long time she knows all of Rena and Honey's dirty little secrets. I am <laughs> surprised you didn't put Honey, Rena and Honey. <laughs> anyway, she made these little towels. I love it. It goes perfect right there on the coffee bar. She made me some others too, but I want to kind of go over the 
the coffee bar with you. So before we had three shelves above the coffee bar, but um, here I just put up one, and this was something I picked up on Marketplace, this shelf. And I just have these two pots at the end that are mostly decorative. I, I don't know if I'll ever use them. I love the black and white plaid, so I incorporated that. I had the word fall from last year. I always leave the windmill um, in the background. And then I picked these little guys up at the thrift store. These were actually for sale in one of our booths last year, and I didn't sell them. I picked up the roosters and I love them. I've had them, got them at Goodwill too. And then I just added some sprays and um, a pumpkin there and a pumpkin there from Hobby Lobby. Then on top of the mirror part of this, I don't know if you'd call it a buffet, I guess so. Um, the coffee and tea sign is Hobby Lobby. I picked these little guys up at the dollar store a year or so ago. Some little pumpkins from Hobby Lobby I've had in my stash. And then this one and this little bird are also from the thrift store. So on these um, shelves, I have the flavored, I don't know, the flavors for your coffee or what have you. Um, there's some there. There's the new Keurig. There's me. Hi. <laughs> um, there's the Keurig. Some little... Uh, snack cookie sticks and then now that we have the Keurig I've got all different flavors of coffee here I left the chai tea just kind of more for decor because I have the pods now um, this is instant coffee sometimes honey I don't know why but he likes instant coffee and I picked up this red velvet chocolate tea and I was really kind of excited about it but I hated it but I left it here in case somebody else wants it. Also left the coffee more for decor. Um, I get these chai tea pods. These are my super favorite, although I have some others, but these are my favorites. <clears throat> and then luckily I found hot chocolate in pods, but I have the hot chocolate packets there in the back as well. So, ta-ta! And then I keep all my extra things down in the bottom and in the drawers. and. I love it. I love it. I also love these two, um, you know, on each side I have these containers with wood. Um, they're just like tree branches that honey cut one day. <sighs> I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> and then I switch out the decor every season. Um, so I take out all the spray. I leave the, the sticks and the twigs, and then I just change um, to whatever season it is. But here is another one of the towels that Paula sent me. <laughs> so cute. And then Rena Mountain Girl. And Alan is a mountain boy. And then I really like this one. It's sparkly. And it says, love the mountains. So thank you so much, Paula. Um, I wanted you to see that I have that one. will stay on the coffee bar at all times. Um, the other, I just, I don't want to get them dirty. <laughs> I want them to stay looking pretty and new. So I'll probably hang them on uh, the stove handle. Oh, look. I've got those handles over there, too. Okay. I got places to hang them. <laughs> so that's awesome. Here is um, my three-tiered, it's not a tray. It's a three-tiered thing. I don't know. <laughs> so my coffee grinder that I found at the thrift store. These are all Hobby Lobbies. And I found this rooster at the thrift store. And I just use him at fall time. So he goes away. Um, this is an ornament from Hobby Lobby. Oh my. Didn't even realize I was tired. Then over here in the kitchen, I have this little wagon this little wooden wagon I got at the thrift store and then last year I just filled it with kind of fall looking items and then the other thing is over here I have this container I'm 
pretty sure I got this at the thrift store. And I just put a couple sprays in it. Um, then over here, I have doggies. <laughs> so over here, I, I have this thing and it has all of these on it. And I just, every season, I just change out, um, the different season, uh, picks and things. And this one, I got this at the thrift store, and I super love that. Super love it. And I filled it with these, uh, and this is fall only, but I filled it with those, and it's perfect and wonderful. And I just, I really love how that looks. All right. Oh, oh, up at the top up here. I have harvest blessings and I just added the the sunflowers and there you go. So seriously, that's it. <laughs> this is how Shiva is always looking out the window. Always, always. And I moved this arrangement into here because this window gets more sun and I, I really felt like these guys needed some more sun. But it's another beautiful day. I do have a blanket hanging out there I need to bring in and put in the dryer. Um, yeah, it is a beautiful day, but it, it's a bit nippy up here. And it was super cold. It was 29 this morning. And it's pretty nippy right now. If I stand in the sun, it's not too bad. But, man, I love the water feature. And I am super excited about the pond. Um... Honey's talking about now getting a jackhammer. Okay, that's going to get noisy. I'll talk to you guys later. Oh my gosh, look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh, they're eating the plants. Sorry about the barking in the background, but oh my gosh, that's the first time I've seen him drinking out of the front pond. Hey, don't eat the plants. Shiva! Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to scream at you guys. <laughs>